Just like that game, uh, Death. What is that called? Death Trash. When that game fully releases, I can't wait. I played that a little bit when it first went into early access. And, uh, yeah. Really good stuff. I'm a big fan of early the Fallout 1 and 2 and early CRPGs, so that game is, like, pretty pog. Yeah. All right. So this game's in like a subcategory or subgenre of games that's kind of inspired by PlayStation 1 games, like old PlayStation games. Um, first person, weird, like alt games, secrets potentially, maybe, some don't. But they're just very strange, retro-inspired, horror-esque games. There's this. Uh, Fatum Bachelor. Fatum, Fatum Bachelor is my favorite one so far. But I have a lot of footage recorded. I'm going to make a video of that game. Thanks, Blade Lord. So the premise, as far as I know it, is there's a planet that's dying. Maybe the star is dying. That's the name of the game is Stars Die. I've already failed. And I think I might be a third party who arrived on that space station or something. And I'm so tired. Okay, I'll be recording everything from this point onward. Okay, uh, because I want you to understand why I did it. Let's see. The time is no now, uh, 3.56 in the morning. As you already know, I am Debowski, Union Volunteer ID Block. The one who committed the worst possible crime, according to you. I am well aware of the significance of my transgression, but you know the hole will annihilate us all eventually. The hole? The black hole? I knew there was something else that could be done, and now I think I've found it. I'll be frank, I don't know why I'm still alive, but I have to find another way and no one or nothing will stop me. I can only hope that my actions will eventually make sense for you. Forgive me. Oh, can I adjust the sensitivity? Field of view, 60. Okay. Or whatever. It is fisheye a little bit, but I it's fine. We'll drop the volume a tiny, a touch camera sensitivity we'll see what that's like um okay all right we'll live with that for now how do i oh these should i stay family friendly i think i've been cursing anyway these fucking things what are they and why do I keep seeing them everywhere? Just a bit more. Don't really know why I even bothered. Oh, nice sink. Can I go to sleep? I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I don't have much time. I should get going. Let's not yet. I gotta look around at the water and the... The hole. The moon? I might have to put the volume up again, too. Alright. I think we looked at everything we can. Let's go. 
Dabowski. I never agreed to an 18 plus, whatever, 18 and up stream. I try, I like to, I don't know. I like to try to not curse. It's weird. Like I used to curse like a truck driver pretty much. Um, and then I started a YouTube channel. <laughs> And then I got yelled at by parents when I said hell. But I, I tried really hard not to curse. Hell, I don't consider to be a curse. I'm, you know, whatever. But yeah, now, like, it's just weird. It's awkward. I don't feel... It's like when I curse, it's like there's a hesitation now. It, like, changed my brain content creation. But let's... We're in this game now. It's a transformer. With a big battery pack backpack. It's not. It's not that at all. There's another boat. Is that a crustacean? A giant blue crab? Yeah, like, I just acknowledge things. It's just, it's strange. Feeling awkward now when I'm about to curse or something. Sometimes it just comes out and I don't like notice it, you know? But it, it feels strange kind of doing something and then feeling like I have to catch myself. And I, it just comes automatically now, but there's still this awkwardness to it. Could be profound, not profane. Yes. That's a good tagline. Profound, not profane. Content for everyone who's insane. Especially the insane. Okay. The Zodiac doesn't have the keys on. If I want to leave, I will need to find another way. Okay. Do I die if I try to swim? All right, there's just an invisible wall or whatever. All right, let's just go up that way, maybe. And likes propane. Exactly. I really enjoy these type of games. Not particularly, uh, like, low-poly or, like, retro, but just, uh, like, weird, really weird games. This island, apparently it's, like, made of meat. Or there's, oh, hey. A research outpost. I don't, oh, I can zoom. Okay, good to know. As far as I know right now, I can just run, walk, interact by uh, left click, and then zoom with right click, and jump. Okay. You can move pretty fast. It's like boomer shootery. Nice. I don't think there's going to be any uh, shooting or anything, though. There might be. Yeah, they're just... You know, just meatballs. It's fine. Oh, hi, there's a person. So this place is not... How do I... Oh, I can click on doors? I forgot. I keep trying to press E. And then I've also been playing uh, Remnant 2 with a friend. So I press F too. Oh, hey, F is flashlight. Nice. <laughs> I'm not used to, like, clicking on doors with mouse to open them. 
Well, let's just go try to talk to her. Hey. Miyazawa. What are you really doing here? Um, I don't really know exactly what I need to. Just sort of stumbled. I do what I want to do. Just wondering how I can get out here. I don't have enough fuel in my boat to leave. I could just ask the same. Let's see. I just sort of stumbled upon this place. I don't know who I am or where I am. It's like a dream. Don't even bother pretending it was pure chance. How did you find this island? Um... It felt like an impulse. I was just sailing until I found this place. It felt like an impulse. Not very informative, but entirely useless. In any case, I'm Dr. Miyazawa. I'm in charge of the research team investigating this place. Since you're here and we both know it's not coincidental, I may find some use for you later. You're, you'll be allowed to stay here for now as long as you don't interfere with our work. In the meantime, go look for Dr. Nugugi Ng. I'm just going to call him Dr. Ng. Ask him to perform a medical analysis on you. Um, hmm. Uh, where is this doctor? As you leave my office, go left through the path beyond, behind our base. If you keep walking towards the giant cylinder, you should find him nearby. Okay. What do you care about my health? The moment you arrived here, you made yourself a part of my research. And if you're sick and about to die, at least your corpse will be useful. Well, damn. Um, I'm not feeling too well now that you mention it. I'm not sick. Tell that to Dr. Ng. Fine. I don't know if I can... I'm going to try to interact with random things just in case. I don't want to... It's like I was able to interact with things on my boat. So, Oh, hey. Nice. Oh, look. See, a Gojira toy. I'm meddling with personal items, so it's better if I leave it alone. Whoever it belongs to, they might really like it to bring it here. Wait. They must really like it to bring it here. Sorry. Uh... Yeah, let's leave it alone. I'm going to take it with me. It's going to be very, really important. <clears throat> Bappy. Gojira. Um, hi. Don't shoot me. Okay. <laughs> He's just like, nope. I don't want to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> You're tall. Okay, fine. Can't even interact with him. Alright, as you leave, turn left. Isn't that where I came from? Past the cylinder? Hang on. She did say, as you leave, turn left. Past the cylinder. Or was it leaving her office and turning left? Well, we're going this way right now. You know, it was probably the other way. The other left. Also, volume. Uh, where was it? So, oh, it's already okay. Did anything save? Yeah, that saved. Whatever. Okay. It is very quiet right now. I don't know if you guys can even hear the um. 
the ominous music. It's kind of just like a heartbeat almost. All right, we should probably just go back up that way. <clears throat> okay. These things are interesting. We'll we'll go back. I'm curious. Okay. These things kind of resemble like people in a way. And I just got a uh, sort of it sort of reminded me of that movie Annihilation, which is based on a really good trilogy of books and that I recommend if you're into kind of uh, cosmic horror type stuff Lovecraftian type of stuff Annihilation's a, a good I, I really like the movie the end is kind of strange <laughs> I don't want to give anything away alright so she said after you leave my office, turn left. Past the cylinder. And you'll run into him eventually. I don't know. I mean, there was a spot up there. There's another path behind. Did she say go behind the research station? Uh, whatever. We might as well check. It probably just leads, unless he's like up there or something. Looks like there is something up there. She did say cylinder though. Like what the hell is, oh hi. Ah, here you are. Yes. You must be the one from the boat Eldritch saw on the radar. I'm Dr. Ng, nice to meet you. Your name was, um, I don't want to be like that. I'm Dabowski. I'm Dabowski. Very well, Dabowski. I'll be honest, we're not really sure what's going on in this place. Or if they know they're not telling me. I'd like to make a simple medical exam on you. Just to make sure this place isn't harming you in any way. It does really remind me of Annihilation. Don't worry, we've all been through it and we're all perfectly fine. Well, mostly fine. As you can surely tell, this isn't the proper place to do this, so meet me later at my office. Okay? I'm just finishing setting up the sensor, but we'll be there shortly. Which reminds me, Dr. Rug, Rig seemed really interested in meeting you. I believe you two should have a chat. Should be around here somewhere. Okay. Uh, where is your office? Where's your office? As you approach from the front, it's the module on the right next to the dorms. I'm sure we could just look for you. Read the signs of the doors if you're not sure. Ah, that makes sense. Why are you working in a sensor? Aren't you a medic? I am, but we're a small team, so we all have to multitask. It's not like it's a complicated job, even for an, a dumb old man like me. Okay. Um, all right. I'll be, uh, we're going to go with that approach. I'll do what you want. It's a medical exam. Why not? <laughs> hey. Interesting. Please give me some time. I seriously hope you're right, but I'll need to find some evidence of that first. What? <laughs> yeah, that's my first response. What? Wait, who the hell are you? Oh, you must be the one on that boat. Good. I'm Dabowski. Who are you? I'm Dr. Rig. It's wonderful you're here. We have a lot to talk about. Meet me later in the lab. I have important things to show you. You better tell me this. 
blah blah why does everyone want me to meet them later i'm a woman of action meet me now uh doesn't seem like i have much choice here very well i'll see you there yeah doesn't seem like we have much choice good by the way your face looks familiar have we met before um you could say i'm somewhat famous Dabowski. The big Dabowski. Are you now? Oh, before I forget, here's a radio like the one we use. If you're lost or you can't find someone, give us a call. Please no small talk. Use it only when you really need it. Cool. Uh-huh. You're giving access to your classified frequencies to a total stranger. You just happen to have one here lying around. That's believable. It's just another radio. Whatever. She has two of them on her. She likes to talk to herself on them. Maybe. This isn't a walkie-talkie. You can call us individually, but not listen to our other conversations. Come, let's talk in my lab. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go, Rig. Casually walks over water, too. <laughs> I wish, like, you know, The Witcher 3. I don't know if Witcher 2 or 1 did this, but at least Witcher 3. It should be in any game where, where you have an NPC leading you someplace. They should match your speed. If you want to run, they run. You know, that's one thing amongst many other things that that game does really well. Like That game did that. And like, I don't know if there are any other games I've played that have also done that. It'd be nice. Okay. Waiting for everyone to arrive. So there's Dr. Rig, there's Eldritch, and then there's this uh, soldier who's probably going to kill me. Or Eldritch. I don't I forgot her name. We just have to do it your way, huh? Obviously. The whole world is gonna hell going to hell, and all you care about is your fucking research. All of you will end up like that dead thing simply because you didn't listen to me. You never do. Exactly. We never do, never will. Besides, Miyazawa can take the credit for this one. That would be all, El Eldritch. Fucking hell, why did you even bring me here? This isn't over. Hmm. You, mystery girl. If, if you were close to the NPC leading you, you'll just walk automatically next to them. Hmm. See, yeah, I haven't really... I played Assassin's Creed 1, and then... A little bit of another one, and then a little bit of the Viking one. And I got bored of the Viking one, so I stopped. I haven't seen you gone through the medical exam. I see you haven't gone through the medical exam. Doesn't matter. There's important work to do, and you may prove useful after all. Oh, whoops. I guess I kind of messed up, and I forgot to do the medical exam if I had a choice to. She led me here. Rig led me here, and I could have maybe left and gone to do that first, maybe. Huh. Uh, I don't like being used. What do you want? Leave me out of this. I couldn't care less. You were supposed to show me something. What is it? It's this pangolin. He's dead now, so it's not like it matters anymore. We have other things to worry about. We're trying to understand what's happening to these creatures. Was this animal sick? No. Maybe. He wasn't. He did have some strange external mutations all over his body. But despite how scary they look, they might look, they weren't actually harming him in any way. He was perfectly healthy as far as I could tell. There was, however, some abnormal behavior, but that's about it. Now to your question, if he was healthy, why is he dead then? You can ask that to Dr. Miyazawa. We're scientists doing our job, don't lecture me about this. The bigger, bigger picture takes priority over individual f lives. Lives. You know how important this is, what's at stake here? Mm -hmm. 
let's tell them how to do their jobs. Have you taken samples? Uh, do you know at least if it... Wait, yeah. Is it contagious? It's more complicated than that. It's not contagious in a way that you can do anything about it. Not unlike the whole. The symptoms are different. They're not related. We'll see. Let's get back to work. There's much to be done. Our sensors are detecting multiple creatures around the area we call the Blue Forest. It's to the right as soon as you leave this place. They're not moving, but we know they're alive. Maybe that's what I've already seen? Uh-huh. Still haven't told me what I'm supposed to do. Be a guinea pig? I'll give you instructions there if needed, after they kill you. <laughs> um... I didn't know there was going to be so much text in this game, but it's okay. Oh, da, 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 da. What if the cre creatures are dangerous? Whoops. If they were, we'd be dead already. That's okay. Eldritch has a gun. Wouldn't it be safer to bring him with us just in case? Hmm. There is something about this whole business I don't like. You're not telling me something. It's giving me like control vibes a little bit too. X-Files. Very well. No, now I want to kind of not just go all in with everything like, okay. But I'm not sure about bringing the soldier. Fine, we'll do that. I have no more use of him. He's useless, you mean. <laughs> Very well. Fine. Go talk to Dr. Ngugi already. We shall. Where did she go? They both went. I only saw Rig walk away. Dr. Rig. All right. Let's see. So that's no. This is your place. And then I'm assuming that. Yes. Where's. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. All right, sir. Time for my examination. My brain brain examination you're here good let's begin hmm i actually been feeling like shit i can't what do you need blood for hmm we're still not sure how humans react to this place aren't you? okay <laughs> so far we haven't seen anything unusual caused by this place we can't be too sure um Why my blood? And hmm. you can do the standard check, but forget about taking any of my blood. Hmm. Are you sure? A blood analysis is the most likely place to find any anomaly, if there is any. The rest is more a formality than anything else, really. I can't. You won't like what you'll see. Why not? What is that supposed to mean? Well, Miyazawa did tell me you'd probably reject it and that I shouldn't res insist if you did. This is really unlike her, but I won't question it. That being said, please let me know if you experience any discomfort. She knows nothing about me. Uh, okay. Here we go. Hmm. And we're done. What are the results? Immediately. Using a needle that big should be considered attempted murder. Ha ha ha. What are the results? No unusual symptoms. Slight fever, nothing too worrying. Now for the blood sample, let's see. What is this? <gasps> You've been inside the hole? That's where I come from, yes. Why the hell would I be here if I was cho- Wait, what? What is the hole? I was chosen to be in the hole. What if I have? That's just... No way. If you really come from there, 
And that's what the blood says. Well, you already know what's happening to you. I don't even know how you're still standing. You don't have any of the expected symptoms, but even then the blood gives no room for mistake. I'd say you have around six to 12 hours left, a day at most. I'm really sorry. Hmm. I was trained for this since I was a kid. What the hell is, okay. Uh. Hmm. I appreciate the honesty. Thanks, it's oh, okay. Of course, anything you need, just ask. If you feel any discomfort in, or your condition worsens, let me know. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that at the point any what I lot. At this point, only a Viridian machine would delay it. Dr. Miyazawa believed that this place could be related to the whole. Okay. I feel like I need to lift my monitor up, looking down there. Um but we knew if it was that bad. We would leave before needing one of these things. So we did bring some of the softer stuff for early symptoms and the like, but nothing for cases this bad. <clears throat> okay. Don't worry about it. I got a standard dose a few hours ago, so it's tolerable for now. Oh. Then you're aware how serious it is. I always feel so bad about you guys. When I had to flee from Agadez... I joined one of the, these improvised teams to try to help somehow, like basically everyone, right? Even before the Union, knowing that I might have to go down there myself eventually. Never actually happened for one reason or another. I'm too old for that now, I'm afraid, and wouldn't last five minutes in there. I just stayed with my team, and years of dead ends kept piling on. Then I met Dr. Rigg, another refugee like me who asked, to, asked, me, join, asked me join SSRL. New blood, fresh ideas, and a bright mind. It seemed like the right move. And look where they brought us. Pretty cool, huh? Uh... Whatever, old man. <laughs> Pretty cool. Right? I don't know what it is, but I've never seen Riggs so excited about research, so I know it has to be important. I shouldn't hold you any longer. Thanks for the cooperation. See you later, kid. You're welcome. See you later. Okay. Will you talk to me? Do I want to talk to you? What the hell do you want? You seem to hate being here. Why don't you just leave? Uh, they're scientists. You should trust them when they tell you this place isn't dangerous. Yeah, right. <laughs> because of protocol, she's in charge. Believe me, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have even set foot in this shithole. Can you just refuse the job? Um, to leave if you think your life is in danger. If they want to stay, it's their negligence. No need to drag you along. It is, I know. I've been thinking about it recently. It may be my only way out. And shit just keeps getting worse every day. I'm not sure exactly. I think it's... It's some kind of cosmic thing. We might not even be on Earth. Based on what I read on the uh, Steam page, like a, an island of meat or whatever appeared in the ocean, and there's a research team here working on it, and then you're like a third party who stumbles into it. But they already know me, so I think I was part of the team, and then maybe I'm an alien, I don't know. Or maybe I am part of the team, and I... Forgot. I think I'm infected with some kind of whatever killed that animal. Every day there's more infected animals and we're not doing anything about it. And now you show up, which is fucking great too. At least the earthquakes have stopped. That shit was driving me insane. You were lucky to not be around. Anyway, get out. I'm busy. Okay. Dead man. I don't know if I've seen that. I pro wait. Hmm. I probably have. I just don't remember which movie that is right now. Crank, I've... Uh, I know. So what were you... We were supposed to meet somebody. Oh, no. We were supposed to go to the right, they said. 
think it was to the right. Where they were detecting life forms. The, uh, this actually reminds me of Scavenger's Reign. Johnny Depp. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that. I thought, I kind of, when you said Dead Man, or when I read that, I saw the poster or whatever. And I was like, is it that movie? Is that one called Dead Man? From the music or... So quiet. <clears throat> All right. Bug. So it was a meteorite. It's very much like uh, annihilation. Hey, this object wasn't here before that. I'm not so sure of that. It's a... Okay. It's a person. The gavials definitely weren't. But that explains the movement we've been detecting ever since we've got here. They seem interested in it somehow. I've seen this object before. How did these animals even get here? I... Look, one problem at a time. Aside from having caught the attention of the animals, it really doesn't seem to be doing anything at all. Oh. Could it be... It's moving. What the... It, is it responding to us? Or or anything that gets closer? Maybe this is why they were moving around the place. They were looking for this thing. Or maybe there's just more of them. Could be... Hold on, there's something there on the ground between the cracks. A Viridian life support? How the hell did this horrible machine get here? You, Dabowski. Do you have anything to do with this? No, I just got here on a boat. Hey, I just got here. It doesn't add up, but then someone else found this place before we did. And it's not like the Union hands over hands these things over to just about anyone. This belonged to someone who should have been at the hole, which means a one-way trip. We might be able to find information on whoever used it. I'll try to access the black box remotely, see what I can find. Something's wrong here. There's no Viridian left, but the dose wasn't administered, it was thrown away. It's not like they would need it here, but still, it's odd. There's also an audio recording, but it's vastly damaged. Send it to my computer and I'll have a look. Do you have any GPS data? Barely. There's only two coordinates. The last one is here, but the first is far below. Underwater? Remember, this, remember the scans we made when we arrived? Despite the interference, the sonar seemed to indicate a com complex cave system underground. We don't know how far this whole structure goes, but... It's at least another 200 meters deep, and this GPS data supports that. Probably the epicenter of the earthquakes from a few hours ago. Whatever is down there, it has to be important. <clears throat> Viridian machines have millions of recorded data of the user and their environment. Is that really all you could get? I haven't noticed any quakes. What could be causing these quakes? Something big. The nearest trench is too far. Something else is causing tremendous shifts deep below. Whatever's causing them is probably the reason why this whole place exists. We're going to focus on that from now on. This object, whatever, whatever it is, it is likely to be a dead end, at least with our current equipment. The only way I can think of is to, to explore the depths of the structure is likely from the hollow tower. We already placed the sensor before at the top, so I'm back there now. I'll begin a more thorough study. I doubt Dr. Nigugi. Nigugi is busy, so tell him to come as well to give assistance in case I need it. You go to your office and analyze the readings I sent you. Look into the audio recording as well in the meantime. Very well. Whew! Um. Hollow Tower? What's that? Oh. Okay. Yep. Seen it. How do we climb it? If you walk straight into it towards the left, you should find the tunnel leading up. If you can't find it, just follow the circumference. Uh, okay. All right. Might as well go there myself, too. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Good. Let me uh, explore more. Talk less <laughs> right now. Jeez. Or I mean, read out loud less. Need a little bit of... A little bit of a break. Oh. Did you just warp... Wait, hang on. I'm going to not follow you. Let's go this way. Oh, maybe I can't. All right. Now the music is a good volume. It's a little, little loud for me, but whatever. Mm. Let's see if we can get back in there. And, uh, whoops. Whoopsie. Oh. Yeah. A little Half-Life. The music, too, reminds me of Half-Life. All right. Where did she go? Yeah. I, I think it's Earth, but maybe it's not. This is just like a some anomaly that appeared from the hole. Maybe a black hole, maybe a hole in the ground. Did she walk off the end? Thanks, ma'am. Appreciate you. Oh, okay, no, she didn't. There's a bird. Hey. So, it's like a pattern? Rig should be able to hear us now. Connection is on. Are you there? Yes, I am here. Like you said, I'm watching it on the screen right now. It's very clear they're not random tremors. Our sensors are still gathering data. Should help us determine its origin, but there's something odd about it. What's up with this smog? Nothing too important right now. No, hold on. It has a similar composition to volcanic gas, but it definitely isn't. Nothing harmful, then. Like, that's... Volcanic gas is not harmful at all. Um, what was that you mentioned about a pattern? Is it a hypnotic pattern? The rate at which the smoke is being expelled seems to match with the periodic tremors. Hmm, you're right. They appear to be related. Just like we said, below are the most intensive vibrations. They have, like, one r reminiscence. Yeah. The, the music, the sound of the music, and then, like, the zen-like... Or whatever. Zen? It's called Zen, right? Whatever. Yeah, I get it. It is. It does have that vibe. Uh, it seems like the center of growth. For me, er, yeah. Then there's no other choice. You really want to go down there? What else can I do? Hold on. Analysis of the sensors just finished. It should be on your way. Great. I'm receiving it. Let's see. Amazing. What is it? These are vital signs. The fuck? The tremors. They're not earthquakes. It's a heartbeat. Because this is a giant fucking living island. Wait, w w this whole place? All right. I hope we've all learned our lesson. Start packing the essentials. We evac in 15 minutes. That's right. Run away again like you people always do. I'm not going anywhere. We don't know what the thing is. We have no intel, no equipment, no personnel to deal with this situation. We're way over our heads here. I'm the one that makes that call, not you. I'm trying to protect you all. That's my job. We don't need it. Not from you, scum. You're useless. Don't you see it? This is like the fucking crater in Europe. The longer we stay, the faster we, we kill it. It kills us. Yes. I don't care. 
You're insane. Hey, Doc, don't tell me you want to stay, too. I don't know. I need time to think. Rob, help me. What should we do? Are you there? Fucking hell, we're wasting time. We don't have time to think. I ain't got time to think. Just take the Zodiac. It should have enough fuel for you to return to ADAC. Ugh, whatever, I'll take it. If you change your mind, you can come if I haven't left yet. Um, so those of you who are staying, what were you doing? Why are you insane? Wait, Eldritch, can I come with you? Hmm. I'm gonna stay, of course. I don't want to run away. We, we're playing a video game. We gotta figure out the mystery. We gotta... We gotta... I'm not going on a... Whatever. The looming horror music, but they slapped the beat onto it. Yeah. Yeah. Need a way through these membranes and go underground. Just shoot it with the gravity gun. You won't, won't find what you're looking for down there, but that's Half-Life 2. This was everything I needed. They were right, which means there's not much time left. What? Time left for what? Rig? Rig, respond. Stay at the base. I'm going there now. What are you up to this time? Rig has... another purpose here. Will you open for me? Um, okay. okay. Interesting. So he went back to that ship. Is this thing still here? Yeah. Can we interact with you at all? Instant death. A lot of these games have, um, like games like this. This is, uh, it might have multiple. Oh, wait, are these, were these here before? I didn't notice them. Oh, okay. Into crocodiles. Is this a crocodile's nervous system? No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I'm on a living being as well. Because they did say, they just said there's a heartbeat down below. It, they thought it was earthqu or tr earthquake tremors or whatever. But it's a heartbeat. Um, I think uh, there's going to be, I don't know how many, but multiple endings in this game, depending on my choices. And we could stumble into one at any any moment, I think. Because that's how uh, Fatim Betula was like that. Another game, like, there's... <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god, that's super quiet. Jeez. There's like this genre of games like this that have multiple endings. Hey, you're weird. Oh. Waiting for everyone to arrive. We're so close. What is wrong with you? What exactly do you think you're going to do down there? Try to save the day by destroying everything you don't understand? Do you even have a plan? You're being so irrational. All our investigation has been leading us down there. Why the sudden descent? Because you're still just as clueless as the team who arrived before us. A team that I was on? A partially reconstruct- I partially reconstructed the audio we got from the black box. Mostly unintelligible, but they're yelling, arguing. They have no idea what they're doing. They found their answers eventually, but not below. Or they just weren't ready for them. And are you? This place is the future. The whole is no longer a threat. Uh, where is your evidence? And why- when did you get infected? Do you want a list? Just look at the Bowski. She's the deserter. And... Mm, the tabloids spoke for you now? Speak for you now? Uh, you've mistaken me for someone else. And you're the asshole. I didn't come here to listen to this shit. I'm out. I'm famous. 
We're going to go with uh, this one. Don't worry. I know you didn't actually desert. Quite the opposite, in, that, in fact. Honestly, I'm surprised it took me this long to realize. I know you're. Wait, I know where you're getting at. I considered it too. So you knew who she was. You really think I would have let her stay if I hadn't recognized her? Fair enough. Anyway, it's been weeks since you left. Weeks? That's impossible. She should be dead already. Unsurprisingly, the blood test said she doesn't have much time left anyway. But like Abe mentioned, with that type of exposure. Even the most optimistic estimates would indicate she should have died days ago. You've been listed as dead by the USFF for a while now. Man. This place is saving your life. It was, it was doing so bef even before you arrived. That's why you came. Viridian can be especially effective on certain people. Although it's true, this, this effective... Wait, this effective would be unprecedented. Oh, this effect. Blah, blah, blah. You know it doesn't add up. She clearly didn't use the machine, only took the simple doses and look at her, breathing and thinking on her own. <laughs> she's not even blind. And she's far from being an exception. Those animals, this entire place, even us. Everything is changing, adapting us to a new reality. I don't know, kid. This isn't... You're saying we should be okay with all this? It sounds wrong. You talk about wrong? Where is your home? Where is mine? We both lost everything. But we kept fighting anyway. Now the opportunity we never thought would happen has arrived. This is a miracle, Abe. Dabowski, you've seen what I've seen. You know I'm right. Um... We're all over the place with this character. You are. You're right. If you want to keep fighting, this is how. But... Enough of this. I'm tired of listening to your babbling. Is this what it will take for you to feel good about yourself? Even if this was all true, it's unacceptable. You talk about fighting, but are, are the first to relinquish your fate to some kind of planetary parasite? You say you want to save us, but then you can't even trust us to solve anything. The world is united against the whole. That's all that we need. Have you stopped to think why it cares? Why it even wants us alive? I don't see any transcendence here. Only utter absolute... Okay. <clears throat> Robin, please. Could this really save us? We're already saved, Dave. Hang on, I need a break for a minute. <laughs> it's cool, I like it, but... Doing a lot of reading out loud, like, destroys my voice. <clears throat> We're stronger now, no matter what Miyazawa says. No, but we... I don't want to stop being who I am. It's up to us alone to find a way. This place is proof enough that it really isn't, whether you like it or not. You assume malevolence, but all the evidence indicates otherwise. If we're all, if we're incapable of solving this on our own, we'd simply be delaying the inevitable. Sorry, but I'm with Rig here. I'm not sure what that's actually possible. It's too much, even for you. The future will never come at the hands of external forces. Only we are responsible for our lives. Yes, very inspiring, but what's the plan? There's something important down there. I have to know what, what that is. What you really mean, but don't say, is that you want to find a way to destroy it. It's on the table, among other possibilities. Right, this is ridiculous. So it very, very much is reminding me of, uh, man, <clears throat> uh, the hell's the movie I was mentioning earlier. Sorry, like reading out loud a lot right now, um, made my, my voice really hoarse, my throat really hoarse, and it's, uh, tripping me up. Uh, anyway, I forgot the name of the movie. Natalie Portman is in it. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I know. I know all of you guys can just read it for yourselves. Um... Hmm. 
what other possibilities? Perhaps there's a way we can secure the health and stability of the planet. I'm still working on it. I'll take a little bit of a break from reading it out loud. So much. Absurd, because there's just so much of it. So if I don't... Annihilation, yeah. It's very, very much like that right now. Absurd. Um, It would be like an ant trying to communicate with us. If the being is so intelligent, I'm sure it, can't, it can find a way. No, you overestimate how it works. So that's it then? It's better to just laugh at us silly little humans? Okay. It's nothing like that. All life forms evolve with radically diverse brains with entirely different cognitive structures. Intelligence isn't a binary property. We can barely even communicate with the known smartest beings on the planet, let alone this one. That's very true. <laughs> well, I wonder if she means anything else by that, though. Uh, you're hoping for an impossible conclusion. I want a future we fought for, for a future we deserve. The union gives us purpose. Hmm. Okay, the union. If we let something else fix the problem for us, the union will lose all reason to exist. The next day, all the nations would be at each other's throats again and back to square one. We'll have learned nothing. No. If global catastrophes are the only way that st stop us from fighting each other, maybe we have to rethink the way we live. I like that. It's like Watchmen. Maintain it even after it has passed. If we don't overcome our own struggles, life is worthless. But it's like Riggs said. This is much bigger than this place. It has to be. Please don't do this. You'll only get killed. What are you proposing? Ah. You have an alternative? Hey, Abe, we'll be fine. There's no more reason for you to be here. You did all you could. I'm sorry I asked you to come here. Please, just go with Eldritch and leave this place. But why leave? Come on, kid, credit me with some intelligence. It's futile, you know it is. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. I know you always had good in intentions. This is just too much for me. Don't hold it against me if I don't accompany you. <clears throat> hmm. Nothing, I guess. <laughs> it's not like it would make any difference. You do what you have to do, kid. I will. Thank you for everything you've done for me. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. Being there. Good luck, Doctor. Doctor Engi. Ngugi. Thanks, kid. I hope you find what you're looking for. Miyazawa, it's been a pleasure. Doctor? Alright, it's all up to us. Come with me, Dabowski. Let's make our own lives anew. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Um, I'm in. Yeah. Let's go. Good. Unlike you, I'm perfectly happy to live and die the way that I am. I know better than to misguide my contempt towards my own kind instead of the real threat. You misunderstand. If I ever thought we were deserving of such hatred, I would never fight for our future in the first place. Despite our many flaws, we are still worth saving. But we can't do it alone, not this time. In reality, you're just abandoning us. I don't know. I mean, we're joining... Uh, Melissa... The actor. I can't think of her name. Never not never mind. In Annihilation. It's you who's clinging to an obsolete vision. This is our purpose. A stupid one. Then this is goodbye. Good luck, Miyazawa. I mean it. I wish I could believe in your utopia. You will never learn. Goodbye, Miyazawa. I'm I'm, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid as well. I'm gonna go join Rig. Down below. Maybe. Or for now, I'm just going to follow and see what happens. To the lighthouse. 
it is like the lighthouse pretty much in Annihilation. <clears throat> Dread Delusion is sort of like another type of game like this, but it's more like big open world uh, RPG. But I have that game. I'm waiting for that game to probably go into 1.0. Where did she go? I turned around and lost her. Rig. I know that Miyazawa went this way. Did they both go up that way? What's this? Oh, hey. Oh, she did go this way. All right. It's time. There's no place for us here any longer. We should get going. We should. No time to waste. <laughs> Are you sure you've made your choice? I can wait for you a bit longer if you need some time to make a final decision. You can talk to the others if you want to, too. Um, we'll look around a little bit. Very well, think things through. But remember, I won't be here forever. You know what, let's just stick with this one for now. Are you ready to make your decision? I am. So, will you be coming with me or not? I'm coming with you, it's the only way. It is. Good. Finally, there's something we can do. No more uncertainty. We live as we were meant to, as the miracles we always were, in the infinite and overwhelming void. Don't be afraid. Death is meaningless now. Okay. Something swallowed us. Swim to the moon. It says swim to the moon. Oh, this is Riggs ending. It's beautiful. Rig, you look so beautiful. super loud now. Okay. I can't adjust that right now. Where are they? We could have gone anywhere. care about us. Right? It's exactly, it, it had more dia a lot more dialogue than I thought it was going to have. This is only one of the endings. I'm sure the game is like completely different if you do other things. I guess if you talk to other people. 
your eternal loving memory of Dennis. Stars die. Or planets, too. Planets get eaten by giant flesh beasts. And we're marooned on the moon. We're marooned. <laughs> Nice. Let me see something. <clears throat> I don't think I could do another one right now. Um, unless I just like totally don't read it out loud or whatever. I'm gonna I wanna play a little bit longer though. Uh there's okay, seven achievements. I just wanna see. Okay. Completed Miyazawa's ending, Eldritch's ending. Okay. Ing's ending. Completed Dabowski's ending. Oh, so I have my own ending. So wait, You May Dream, Miyazawa, Innocent in Death, Eldritch, Fade into the Horizon, Ing, The Doctor, Downward Spiral, Mine, Zero Sum, Secret Ending, Blinding Skies got all of the achievements. Okay. Well, it's short enough that... You know, if you don't read it out loud, then you just read through it a lot faster, pretty much, um, for the most part. That's a lot shorter. But, uh... Yeah. I just want to... Try a little bit of something different this time. I think we could have gone onto the boat... Hey, Bass Base, what's up? We could have gone onto the boat with the soldier and then probably just left. But I hope it's not that simple. Like, this was a cool ending. It wasn't... It was bad. Eh, hey, hell yeah. Nice. Very nice. Congratulations. What you gonna be doing? Uh, dev work? Like, software engineering or... Ah, called it. <laughs> right before you said that. Nice. Hell yeah. It's like my group of friends, like one of they're two of them are software engineers. And then uh one of them's actually a ca camera operator. Uh travels around the world basically working on movies. And then uh I got to try to get a gig through him. <laughs> like it would be amazing if I could try to, if I could get an editing, film editing gig somehow. I've already failed and I'm so tired. Okay, I'll be recording everything from this point onward. Uh, I'm not going to re-read most of this. I just want to see, I want to, probably the soldier this time, see if I could kind of fast track that. So the whole... I still don't know what the hole is, if it's this island or no, they said I came from it. Maybe the hole is like the vents down below in the middle of the island or like down in the middle of the world where all of this came from and woke up or, or it came from an asteroid or something. Yeah, spot on the money. I think that's it. Forgive me. I wonder who she's talking to now in the beginning. All right, so let me just see. What are they and why do I keep seeing them? Ah, these are the creatures. Okay. Just a bit more. What about these papers? Don't know why I bothered. Or, or, what's up, Zax? Zax, miss. I should get going. Let's go. So we just completed one ending for this game, and it was really interesting. I liked it. We don't know. We have amnesia, pretty much. We're sailing, or like, we're in a boat. We're in a boat. We find this that I can't skip, but it's okay. Gives me time to drink some water real fast.
ballistic. <clears throat> I watched a little bit of it. The ballistic racing game reminded me of. Well, I didn't watch enough of it to to tell exactly what it is. Is it just racing, or is it combat racing, or I haven't played a racing game in a well besides like Mario Kart, Mario Kart. In a long, long time. I guess, uh... Going to an arcade. Like, I've been to Dave & Buster's not too long ago. Mari. Mary. Mario Kart. And yeah, like, most arcade games are just, like, light gun games and racing games now. With, with a few little fighting games here. Man. We need some... I want to... I'm, I'm sure there are. I, in fact, I know that there's a bar here that's an arcade, but also like a full bar. It's just like a trendy hangout. But we need more... We need an arcade resurgence somehow. With uh, machines linked together that are like multiplayer FPS machines. Oh, hey. What the hell? Hi. You don't belong here. I don't know who you are or why you're here, but you need to leave immediately. Damn, I wanted to go with this guy and his ending or whatever, but I wasn't expecting to run into him like immediately right here. There's something I need to do here. Maybe you're right, but I don't have enough fuel to return. Do you have any to spare? Um, I wouldn't know. You'll have to ask, ask Dr. Miyazawa. She wants to talk to you. What the hell? Follow this path upwards. You'll find our base eventually. Look for her there. She's probably in her office. I warn you, though, don't let her draw you into this shit. If you really want to leave, come find me later in my office. Okay, I do want to leave. Um, do we want details and everything? Who are you? Who cares? Fine, I'm Eldritch. Just leave me alone, okay? Fine. My name is Dabowski. The Big Dabowski. I'm, I love bowling and long walks on the beach of Meat Islands. Let's run away together on a boat, please. Uh-huh. What are you doing here? <laughs> Think it's pretty obvious? Bye. combat racing, but there are presumably pure races as well. Shadows. Some cars have no weapons. Interesting. Is this a newer game, or... How did it come about? How did Argon start playing it? Is it new and he just was like, hey, whatever. Or did he used to play it? Or it's been on his backlog? Let's go up here. Wode or Fan Fan turned him onto it? Okay. Nice. You don't? You don't know the streamer lore? Come on. <laughs> All right. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Risk of Rain Returns. I love Risk of Rain 2. I played Risk of Rain 1 back in the day a little bit. But, uh... I don't know. I think Risk of Rain Returns, I'm sure it's a lot of fun. But uh, because I do like that gameplay a lot of, uh progressive difficulty and everything non-stop action pretty much but it seems like it's just the graphics are too small I don't know it's mainly that like I wish that it was zoomed in more and updated a little bit more than just like kind of like a straight remake keeping keeping all that yeah it just looks too small for me I don't know. Because I did try to replay the 
the old one, I was going to stream it before because I, I did have Risk of Rain Returns on my wish list. And I was like, yeah, that'll be fun. But then I tried replaying the original and I just couldn't. It was just too small and everything. I'm like, I just didn't have fun. And then uh, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Do, 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 do. So I'm on this big, like weird game kick now where I just want to play like crazy shit like this. Um, I don't really know. Um, exactly what I need to. No, I do what I want to do. This time we're going this way. Unlikely considering you're here. That's actually true. Touche. You got me on that one. How did you find this island? I think I was programmed to find it. I was just sailing. It felt like an impulse. Not very informative, but not entirely useless. In any case, I'm Miyazawa. Mm -hmm. You'll be allowed to stay here for now as long as you don't interfere. In the meantime, go look for Dr. Ng for your health inspection. Fine. I met a guy before wearing some kind of protecting suit. Why aren't you wearing any? No evidence of any hazardous substance. That a suit would stop. Yeah. Um, excuse my skepticism, but it would ease me to wear one. Absolutely not. Fine. Only you are responsible for your presence here, and it is not our job to protect you. If you don't like it, you're free to leave just like you arrived. All right, all right, I get it. I don't have any fuel. Not my problem. You should have thought twice. She's really nice. What do you care about my health? Where is the doctor? Fine. I'll be fine. Good luck then. <laughs> I wonder if there's an ending where we just like become mutated. Just reading the IGDB for this game. Has anyone made a meteor joke yet? Not yet, but I, what was the, I said something earlier that was pretty punny. Maybe. <laughs> it was all caused by a meteor. Hey, you're just the man I want to see. Leave me alone. I just talked to her. Ah, oh, fine. Everyone's so nice here and friendly. It's like, damn. Don't you want to get along with the people you work with? Uh, where was the doctor? He was this way. Meat. It's a meatball. Wait, he was not this way. He was that way. That way, right here. Hey. Ah, here you are. You must be the one from the boat. I'm Dr. Ng. -ing. Your name was? I'm Dabowski. Very well, Dabowski. I'll be honest, we're not really sure what's going on in this place. I'd like to make a simple medical exam on you. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Mostly. Meet me at my office. I'm setting up a sensor. Which reminds me, Dr. Riggs seemed really interested in meeting you. We already talked to Dr. Rigg, and we got marooned on the Mars. On the Mars? On the moon. That was not pleasant, and I do not want to talk to her again. Thank you. I'll consider it. Fair enough. I hope you do. It'll be really helpful. No. I'm going to go and find my own way. And that includes... Oh. Fine, maybe we will talk to her. So... Hmm. Yeah, we'll talk to her, but we're not gonna... Not putting up with any of your bullshit this time. You got that? You're, why is everyone so... Oh, maybe not. I was down in a hole. Okay. Give me some time. I seriously hope you're right. <laughs> um... Please help me. I need to leave this place. 
Who the hell are you? You mean, must be the one on the boat. I'm Dabowski. Who are you? I'm Rig. It's wonderful you're here. We have a lot to talk about. Meet me later. Where is this lab? Am I ever going to get a decent answer to anything I ask? Not a lot of concrete evidence around here, so you'll have to get used to it. Don't worry. Full stop. <laughs> uh, nothing but increasingly outlandish hypotheses. Oh, yeah? Is this island made of meat? I don't care about this place. I just want to leave. All right, whatever you say. By the way, your face looks familiar. Have we met before? You could say that I am somewhat... I doubt it. Oh, before I forget, here's a radio. If you're lost or can't find someone, give us a call. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the radio last time. I don't know how to use that. Cool, thanks. Um, I don't want it. <laughs> Stop being an idiot. You never know when you might need it. Come, let's talk in my lab. I don't want to talk to you. Shut up. I'm going to go back here. Oh, wait, is this just? Yeah, okay. We'll be back. Maybe. Actually, I don't think we're going to go in there this time. What if I... It's not moving now, right? So that's the life support thing that they were talking about. Maybe. Maybe. Or whatever they called it. I can't remember the name of it. Meat. I'm a big fan of meat games. Because IRL, I don't eat meat. So in games, I also don't kill people. <laughs> so I like to kill everyone in games. And I like to burn everything. If there's fire, let me at it. And I also like to eat, or I like games that are all meat. The whole world is meat. Hi. I'm not weird or crazy. Um, giving my blood to a private research company just like that? You think I'm stupid? Oh, don't be like that. I don't know what you think we would do with your blood. It's useless. Look at you. If you're not comfortable with that, I can just destroy the sample. Just don't tell Dr. Miyazawa about it. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Why do you need blood? You can do the standard check. Why do you need blood? We're still not sure how humans react to this place. So far, we haven't seen anything unusual caused by it. But, uh... mm. You can do the standard check. We're going to play it like this. A blood analysis is... Yeah. Anomalies. No. Forget it. I'm not going to do it. Um. Well, Miyazawa did tell me you'd probably reject it. That's really unlike her, but I won't question it. That being said, please let me know if you're experiencing any discomfort. Bye. See ya. All right. Now, soldier. Come here, soldier. Soldier. I want to play Baldur's Gate 3 again. Um, wait, wasn't this where he was? No, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, he's here. I didn't see him through the low polys. <laughs> we always have to do it your way, huh? Obviously. The whole world's gonna hell. Going to hell. And all you care about is research. Screw you. Exactly. We never do. Besides, that'll be all, Eldritch. Fucking hell. Why did you bring me here? This isn't over. You, mystery girl. I see you haven't done gone through the medical exam. Doesn't matter. There's important work to do. I don't like being used. Leave me out of this. What do you want? As you may have seen already, we're not the only ones here. This pangolin is just one example. 
This dead pangolin, you mean? Enough. We're trying to understand what you're hap what's happening. Leave me out of this. I don't care. Very well. If you change your mind, we'll be going towards the area we call the Blue Forest. Just go to the right, and you can't miss it. Stupid scientists, get out of here. I'm with this guy. He's smart. Mirica. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where is he? Oh, he went there, I think. But I gotta go there anyway. Oh, nope. He's standing extremely close to a locker, looking into the top slots. What the hell do you want? You seem to hate being here. Why don't you just leave? Because of protocol, she's in charge. Believe me. I want to get out of here. Couldn't you just refuse the job? I think it's a legitimate move to uh, if your life is in danger. It is, I know. I've been thinking about it recently. It may be my only way out. And shit just keeps getting worse every day. Every day there's more infected animals and we're doing nothing about it. And now you show up, which is fucking great too. At least the earthquakes have stopped. Or the heartbeat, you're saying? The shit was driving me insane. You were lucky to not be around. Anyway, get out. I'm busy. Looking into this locker being a peeping Tom. Okay. I guess I have to go this way. They wait. Yeah. Hey, I don't want to be here, but I'm here. This object wasn't here. I'm not so sure of that. The gavials definitely weren't. The gavials, gavials, that's these things. Oh, they're all, in fact, they weren't like that before, I think. They're all veiny. They seem interested. Yeah, earlier, the first time I was in the scene, I didn't notice them at all. Um, How did, how did these animals even get here? Who cares? I'm out of here. You came here just to say this? Fuck off. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and so she went that way. Where are you going? You're going in there. <laughs> I'm just like, what is this thing? I don't care. I'm out of here. <laughs> Not now. We can talk when we're up there. Um, so let's try, where did she go? Uh, did she go back to the research station or, oh no, she's up there. That's her, like I can just, okay, yeah, we're not going up there. You, hey. Hey, for some reason, Miyazawa told me to go to the top of the spooky tower. Come. I'm sure it'll be fun at the top of the spooky tower. Um, no, we're, well, is the soldier up there? Hang on. Yeah, because last time he was there and then that's when. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't see him. We're trying to side with the soldier in this playthrough. So I don't want to mess that up. I may have, though. I don't know. Oh, she's just here. Didn't you walk to the edge of the... That's weird. You teleported. Interesting. Well, I'm curious. Please, no, no, I'm working. You may want to go to the top of the hollow tower to see how the tests are going. Oh. So I might have to go up there. I just thought that we progressed things to a ah, to a point where we were uh, ready to leave or... Yeah, so he's not there anymore. Okay. Because I thought that she walked to the edge of the cliff over here. 
<clears throat> which is uh spoilers that's what like that's the end of her story or something so it's basically you know like a walking sim but uh kind of a I know I skipped through a lot of the dialogue this time thought-provoking story that you get more details on depending on who you talk to more hey Argon what's up maybe we're on a giant meat meat island with hair And it definitely is that type of trippy ass game. Whoa. Yeah. Ah. All right. Hey. So it's like a pattern. Rig should be able to hear us now. Connection is on. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Like you said, I'm watching it on the screen right now. It's very clear they're not random tremors. Our sensors are still gathering data. Should help us determine its origin. But what's up with this smog? Nothing too important right now. No, hold on. It has a similar composition to volcanic gas. Uh. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm out of here. What's causing it to appear? We're here because of the quakes. The smoke is not our priority. The rate at which the smoke is being expelled seems to match with the periodic tremors. Hmm, you're right. They appear to be related. You like this game's aesthetic a couple years ago and like it more now? I, yeah. I'm into this type of stuff. It seems like likely that's the center of growth of the entire formation. Then there is no other choice. You really want to go down there? What else can I do? Hold on, analysis of the sensors just finished. It should be on our way. Great, I'm receiving it. Let's see. Amazing. What is it? These are vital signs. The fuck? The tremors. They're not earthquakes. It's a heartbeat. No fucking way. Wait, wait, wait. This whole place? All right. I hope we've all learned our lesson. Start packing the essentials. We evac in 15 minutes. That's right. That's right. Run away like a puppy. I guess, because they run away. I'm not going anywhere. We don't know what this thing is. We have no intel, no equipment, and no personnel to deal with this situation. We're way over our... We're in way over our heads here. I'm the one that makes that call, not you. I'm trying to protect you all, dumbasses. We don't need it. Not from you. Don't you see it? This is like that fucking crater in Europe. The longer we stay, the fa we What? We stay, we faster it... What? You tell me do things I done run end? Uh-huh. It's why we came in the first place. You're insane. Hey, Doc, don't tell me you want to stay too. I don't know. I don't... I need time to think. Rob, help me. What should we do? Are you there? Fucking hell, we're wasting time. We don't have time to think. Just take the Zodiac. It should have enough fuel for you to return to ADAC. Whatever, I'll take it. If you change your mind, you can come if I haven't left yet. Um, wait, can I come with you? What? So the weirdo girl isn't as stupid as she seemed to be. Surely, sure, you can come, I guess. Just don't make me wait. I'm packing my things, and then I'll wait by the Zodiac. I'm leaving in approximately 10 minutes. If you're not there, I'm leaving. I'll be there. Okay, let's go. I can run a lot faster than you can, soldier. I'm out of here. Screw this place. I think if you, the way to get uh, your ending or whatever, like each, each character has a different ending by siding with them pretty much, um, I think. Well, yeah. And we have our own ending. And I think if we just act like we don't give a shit about anything, we're just like, I just came here to say that. I don't care. I want to get out of here. Then maybe that's the path to our own ending. Maybe not. Anyway. Just don't make me wait. I'll, the Zodiac, yeah, is the, uh, the giant ship. Don't kill yourself. 
So there's that. Um. Whoa. Nice. I did not break my legs. Uh. Got meat poppies. How do I get down <laughs> without jumping? Yeah, this is exact. This is why I'm, I'm trying to get the soldiers. I think um, the other scientist, Miyazawa, we she wants to go down and study the thing in the crater. That's how to get her ending. Um, uh. The Zodiac doesn't have the keys on it. If I want to leave, I'll need to find another way. Where the hell is he? Do I have to wait for him to walk here? Because we're going to go on there and get out of here. But I can't do that alone. I can swim this far. But I can't swim... Uh, out there. And then I have my boat that I arrived here on. Maybe there's a way to steal fuel from someplace, and then I just take that back to my boat. <clears throat> and then there's a secret ending, apparently. Where we become one of these and have a rave. We just become a, a flesh stalk. A flesh stalk. <laughs> uh, here you are. Was he here before? No, he wasn't. Hi. Um, what are you doing here? Hey, um, I'm leaving soon. If you want to come, there's room for you. Good thing you asked. Let's get out of this place. Uh, what do you think is going to happen to the world after this? <laughs> Nothing. Once I get to the base, I'll warn the army. So they can nuke this fucking place before the Union can take over and start making shit up again. They'd probably even try to connect this to the hole somehow. The hole. The Union doesn't invent anything. They're scientists. I don't think they're related. It's too early to dis... Okay. Of course they're connected. The timing is too specific. Um... Yeah, sure. Actually, thinking about it, they probably created this abomination to continue with the far with the farce. Are you seriously saying the hole doesn't exist? You don't know anything. I've worked for the Union all my life. Their goals are noble. The Union may be full of pieces of shit, but extreme measures were needed. Um, damn it. I don't want to say any of these, but... It does exist, all right? Nobody doubts that. All that shit about people all over the world dying because of it, of it is made up. Okay. There's no mysterious disease originating from the hole that's spreading all over the planet. How do you explain the horrifying amount of people that die every week all over the world? Natural causes. Uh... I've been there myself, fucker. I can feel it. I'm dying and fast. It was all radiation, you dumbass. <laughs> I feel like we're deviating from his ending. Right from the start, it always was. When basically everyone has access to Geiger counters and can tell that it really isn't. Radiation? Really? You have no clue what, we're, what you're talking about. Oh my god. We're dropping the subject right now. Fine by me. Neither of us will change their minds, so it's pointless to keep going about it. I get it, you know? You've probably been with the Union all your life. It's understandable to be skeptical. But hopefully you'll realize the truth eventually. I'm really done talking about this. Well, this isn't really going anywhere, so it's better if we just drop it. Actually, what the hell am I still doing here? I'm getting out of here with or without you. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. 
Let's get going. Let's let's get going. Finally, come on, get in. I'm the queen of the world. Are we going on there? No. <laughs> really? We're just going to drive this into the horizon? Okay. It's... You know, this thing, it's, it's apparently didn't have much fuel, I think. That's what they were saying. Ha. Yeah. But you don't know. I mean, it might, it's not Earth. Maybe this world is flat. We're just going to run out of fuel and then sharks are going to eat us. We're going to eat each other. Uh, the achievement that popped up said innocent in death. Hey. Stars die. We made it. Where? <laughs> Are you okay? It's too dark. Where is it? Where's the applause? What the hell is that? Oh my god, they're flesh tentacles. Oh no! Oh god! There is no escape. We're back. We're getting devoured by the meatball. I like the texture design of that. It's like cells. It's Cthulhu. <laughs> I saw I reinstalled Super Meat Boy. I love that game so much. I never beat it. Yeah, you might be able to convince him to stay. We're gonna, like... <sighs> I'm gonna go. I have to go. Gotta end the stream, but... Uh, I will be back tomorrow, and we'll try to finish it tomorrow. Get all the other endings and everything. Since it doesn't take long, especially if you don't really read through all of the dialogue, you know? Yeah, thanks, Kingra. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Stars die. Yeah, I wonder if there's like a metaphor for that too, because some of the con uh, conversation options talk about how I'm famous or your the character is famous. So I wonder if there's like some weird like spin on like alternate reality or or where you're actually a uh. Like a, an actor, <clears throat> like an actor who's 
in a coma or something and then you die at the end or whatever. And this is all some weird fever dream or coma dream or something. I don't know. Anyway. Cool. 